Hey, handsome. Where are we at right now? Huh? Where are we at? Hey, we're in the wilderness. We're in the wilderness, but where are we at? Hmm. Hmm. And what you eating? You got some puffs? Jay, where are we at right now? We are in the wilderness. <laughs> kind of in the wilderness. Kind of, yeah. If you look behind us, we have a rogue little bathroom back here. But if you look this way, we've got some more wilderness. And if you look even further down this way, we've got ourselves a river. But right here is going to be our house for the next 12, 24 hours or so. Because we are on our very first family camping trip and we're excited. <laughs> so let's talk about the real reason why we're camping today. And that is because, well, our air conditioner went out at our house today and it's really hot. But luckily for us, we have had a break in the weather. It's been yeah. really, really hot the last like week and a half or two weeks. But the low here where we're going to be camping at tonight is like 58 degrees and the high is like mid 80s, which is like super nice compared yeah. to what we've been dealing with. So we decided to pack up the house and go camping for a little yeah. while while hopefully our air conditioner gets fixed. But yeah. if not, it's just great to get outdoors with the family and uh, have some fun. We're gonna go down and play in the river, maybe do some fishing. We're excited to see how this plays out and uh, see how Cypress likes camping for the first time. If you look over here, you can see we brought our bare essentials. <laughs> we packed about our whole bedroom, but that's okay. We've got some comforters, some tiki torches, camera stuff, some food, and then right here, I've got a new tent. This is supposed to be able to pop up in 60 seconds. Ooh, that's so, nice. Yeah, so we'll see how that works. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll get the crib all set up for the night and then we're gonna go down to the river and have some fun, what you say? Sounds good. You excited, Sai? Si? Are you excited? He's You've so never excited. been camping before. This is gonna be so much fun. <laughs> okay, I gotta figure it out now gotta be stronger than your average human. Ooh. That locks it in place. Here we go. We got one more. You know, we could have read the directions and probably figured that out a little bit quicker, but who needs directions on a tent that's supposed to be go up in 60 seconds? Now we've got to attach all this extra stuff and uh, check out the space. Oh, bless you, buddy. Here we go. Should be sturdy as this rock. Hopefully it won't float away or fly away tonight if we get some wind. Don't hit yourself in the head with it, buddy. There you go. Did you get the air mattress all pumped up for us? Yeah, looky here. Only problem is, sorry guys, it's a little dark in here. We're underneath a bunch of trees. The problem is that we thought this was a queen, but it's actually a fool. So one of us is sleeping on the ground. And I think Let's it's gonna be go. I think it's gonna be Cypress. <laughs> Cypress, can you jump? Is this your bed? Is that your bed? <laughs> 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 he is loving this thing. This he might, is so excited. This might be the solution for a new bed for him at back at our house. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> Give five. <laughs> oh god! <gosh. laughs> <laughs> Can you go to sleep? Ready? Go to sleep. Ding 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 ding. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! <laughs> go to sleep. Ding, 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 ding. Wake up, wake up, wake up. <laughs> Yay. All right, so now that we have our bed blown up and all situated, all we have to do now is just kind of throw some blankets in here, get all our stuff packed up here inside the tent. And I think that we are going to go hit the river up. What yeah. you say? Because it's yeah. gotten hot in here. We didn't have it ventilated for a moment. We had the rain tarp on top of it also, which I don't think we need the rain tarp. It's not going to rain tonight. It might get a little bit dewy, but it'll be all right. It'll be all right. But. Yeah, we're gonna get our stuff loaded up in here and then we're gonna go down to the river and see if we can find some fun down there. So we were about to head down to the river, but Sai let us know that he was hungry and wanted some of these little baby weenies first. <laughs> and of course, he has to have his ketchup. <laughs> Golly, this kid loves these little hot dogs. Yeah, he's already at like five. I know. <laughs> I mean, this is his serving. He eats this whole jar, this whole jar of them. That's like perfect to take camping though. I know. It, and it, he loves them. Yeah, it's really great. Definitely don't want to go swimming on an empty belly. Oh no. But we're going to have to wait 30 minutes before you get in the water. That's right. <laughs> he wants, he's reached for the ketchup. <laughs> you want more ketchup? Give the kid what he wants. Can you say more? More, yeah. yeah. More ketchup. You got some on your plate, He said, I, He said, I know I'm going to go through that. Might as well already have it on there. Mmm. <laughs> See, that doesn't look good at all to me. <laughs> What about you? No. Yeah. But he loves them, so. 
whatever whatever floats this boat works for us. And actually, once we get done hanging out down there by the water, we are going to be heading into the nearest town to eat dinner. Like I know that we should be cooking our own food out here while we're camping, but just trying to keep things simple. And also, this park ranger lady came down here and said um, to watch out for raccoons because they are savage beasts out here. Like they, you'll get in your tent, they'll open your cooler, they will eat all your food. So it's probably a good thing we're not cooking and like, yeah. you know, getting a whole lot of good food scent in the air. But also. On the flip side, it'd be kind of cool to have a bunch of raccoons running around partying at the campsite tonight. So, But also, this trip was just kind of spur of the moment. Yeah. We, <laughs> we didn't have time to plan much. Yeah, like I said, we really just came here because our AC went out. And um, we decided to drive up here into the mountains to get a nice, cool night of sleep because our house is probably going to be 80 degrees tonight. So that would have been kind of rough. And it's going to be 58 out here. Yeah, so <laughs> you just got to do what you got to do. You got to improvise, you know, just fly by the seat of your pants sometimes. And that's what we did. And I think it's going to be a good time. Dip in the ketchup. This is his last one. Boy, I've signed you up for the hot dog eating contest. <laughs> he would want, you want more? He wants more. Gosh, there's, that's all of them, Sai. That's it. You're, I think you're done. We gotta cut you off, buddy. We're gonna have to find something else. <laughs> huh? What you got, buddy? You got a rock. There is a ton of rocks here. Be careful. How's the water feel, buddy? Ooh. Ooh. Going in, aren't you? You're getting out in the deep water. Hey, we're gonna get your little pedal jump on so you go swimming. go. Hmm. Sai. Cypress. Cypress. Where are you? He's poopy. Hey, what you doing back there? Are you pooping behind my back? Hmm. All right, so we've been down here at the edge of the river for the last little bit now. <laughs> What's he doing? Trying to climb up on your shoulders? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we've had some fun out here in the water. We've had fun throwing some rocks, skipping them across the river. But now we have a little bit of daylight left, and I've decided to take the rod that I brought down here and wait out here in the pool behind us and see if I can maybe link up with a couple of smallmouth. This pool's not super deep, but I definitely think there's enough water back there to hold a couple of fish. So let's wait out there and see what we can catch. There we go. Hooked up. Hooked up. Pretty good one, I think. Not bad. We'll take it. I was worried if I was going to catch one or not. It's really shallow right here, but we have got ourselves a nice smallmouth bass. The bottom of the water down here is surprisingly mossy, and I've been catching a ton of it. Um, I was fishing deeper water, wasn't getting any bites, and I'm in this water. It's only about knee deep. And um, we got our first smallmouth of the afternoon. Hopefully, we can catch maybe one more, but if not, at least we did catch us a little smallmouth bass. Woo. Let's send him back. Ready, buddy? Zipping. And I caught him just throwing this little weedless little Helgramite lure. I'm not sure what brand this thing is. It's just some just random little generic little Helgramite bait that I've had for a while, but I have it on a little weedless little Ned head. And I'm surprised I'm catching as much moss as I am, but I think it's because of the wide gap hook. What time is it? It's deep right here. There's a fish. Feels like a decent one. Kill all these fighting. This is weird. He might be really big. He might be twisted up in something though. Something weird is going on. This is a big fish. I, I don't know. Something something weird's going on. It feels good. Is he snagged? 
Oh, I snagged him a little bit. Dang it. I thought I had a four pound small. He's still a good one. But somehow in the process, oh, he's got a big one behind him, Dad gum. I don't know how it even happens. Come here, big guy. Hey, not how I wanted to catch him, but I'll take it. <laughs> Look at those beautiful colors on that smallmouth bass. You can't ask for a more colored up fish than that. He's like three times as big as the last one I caught. He's a thick one, he's beautiful. Look at that, look at those patterns. So, so cool. I hate that I snagged him in the back, but I'll take it. <laughs> we'll see you, big guy. Sick. I was about to say, there's no way that I'm not gonna catch a smallmouth next to that bluff wall right there. It's not as deep as it looks over there. It's only about waist deep. But um, like I said earlier, I've been having so much trouble. The whole entire bottom of this river is covered in moss. And I think this EWG style hook right here and just this little bait keeper and also this cone head, it's just like, it's just eating that moss up. So I'm having some trouble with that. These fish are not vegetarians. They like they like the meat. So anytime you got some grass on there, they just, they just won't eat it. But all right, I'm not sure exactly what happened just now. I felt the bite, but I guess maybe he spit it out and then I just jacked him in the back. But maybe we'll get one more, maybe not. We're running out of time, but I'll make a few more casts and see if we can get one more. Well, that hike back up was fun. <laughs> <laughs> we were in the, we were in the wilderness there. Yeah, absolutely. And surprisingly <laughs> enough, there wasn't any poison ivy that we could see right there. So that's good. But overall, I think we had a good time down there yeah. at the water's edge. Had some fun playing in the water. Caught a couple nice fish. But now Cypress looks pooped. Sleepy. He's a sleepy boy. He looks pooped and he's got poop in his pants. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. That's a daily double right there. <laughs> so we're gonna get we're taking care of that. And uh, we are going to head into town and grab some good old fashioned burgers from this awesome dairy bar. So stay tuned for that. Hey, good morning. How was your night? <laughs> Did you sleep good? He said, I slept all night long. And mom and dad did not did sleep. Not. <laughs> <laughs> I slept horrible. I know. Yeah, I mean, the mattress was all right. The pillow was not as fluffy as I thought it was whenever I brought it. Yeah, we were actually able to all fit on the mattress. Just so. barely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's probably a good thing. But. Yeah, we didn't sleep that good, but Cypress slept good. That's all I know. He slept like a rock. He slept from 8.30 to 7. I think all of that swimming just wore him out. All yeah. this fun camping. So I think the plan for us is to actually, oh, I look rough. <laughs> I don't think I slept, but maybe like an accumulative, maybe two hours last night. <laughs> and probably about the same for Jay, right? Yeah. But yeah, it'd be all right. But I think our plan is there's a little hiking trail um, pretty close to this campsite. I think that we're going to... Oh, um, wait. Oh, wait. Tell what? them about the raccoons. Oh, yeah. Um, last night, we had like all of our stuff out here. And we had this lady you know, come by our campsite yesterday. And she said, hey, the raccoons are pretty bad. And we're like, okay, whatever. Yeah, sweet. And then, um, you know, sure enough, about about dark time, about 9, 15, you know, they come scurrying up the little trail back here on our left. And they were all up in our stuff trying to get our food. They're trying to get our cooler. They couldn't get their little raccoon fingers in there, though, and get our stuff. But... <laughs> One thing though is that we did have our keys out there on the table. I'm surprised they didn't run off and take our keys. Like they, we had the keys in here. Jay went back to the car to go get something and she came back in here this morning and said, I left the keys out there. I was like, that would have been bad. But yeah, we had some raccoons. They started fighting down here below us. They, they were just growling like, like, uh, like hogs, you know, yeah, it was, it was crazy. Yeah. But they were, they were vicious little guys and definitely unafraid of us. And we're really hoping to get some snacks, but we kept all the snacks hidden from them, didn't we Si? <laughs> What you doing, buddy? What you doing? You playing? <laughs> well, with that, I think that we are going to try to corral all this stuff. We're going to strike the campsite, and uh, we're going to head over to that little trail, and we're going to hike down to, I think there's like an old homestead or something down there. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe there's some water. We'll figure it out when we get there.
All right, Cypress, are we hiking? We're hiking. <laughs> it's been a while since you got to use your hiking backpack. You were just a little baby guy last fall, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, he's a lot heavier now. Or late, late, <laughs> late last summer. Was it fall or summer? It, it was fall. fall. It was fall. Yeah. Yeah, he's a little bit heavier, a little bit bigger, but he fits in it a lot better too. Yeah. Which is nice. His head used to sit about right here <laughs> in the backpack, but now he can get a good look over the shoulder. And buddy, you think you're having fun, right? What right. do you want to see, Sid? Do you want to see <laughs> I don't a deer? Know for sure. You can go see can some you say deer. Deer. Yeah. yeah. You gonna see some deer? Maybe we'll see some deer. But honestly, we are hiking down the trail to go look at this old homestead, and then beyond that, we get to see a nice overview of the river. So. Let's make our way down here to this old place, see what it has in store for us, and uh, maybe we'll find some deer along the way, Cypress. Well, that place is pretty cool, right? Yeah, it was pretty. There's a lot of space in there. <laughs> and that fence was crazy. I know, I really like the fence. <laughs> you know that took a lot of time to build. Yeah. And uh, I really like the fireplace. I couldn't show the fireplace, it was too dark in there, but that place is really cool. Maybe we should uh, tear down our house and build something up like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think Cypress would like that. would be a nice little simple way of life. Oh yeah. Cypress liked to explore the inside, didn't you? He said, we still haven't seen any deer. Where Where's the deer, the deer at? at? We might find one. There's well, a lot there's of deer a passion here. flower. What? Oh, look at here. These are the coolest flowers ever. This thing looks like it came straight from Mars. So cool. All right, let's keep on going. The overlook is up here somewhere. I think it's right around the corner that way. Uh-oh, guys, major score out here on the walking trail. Got some fresh blackberries. Some good sized ones, too. And we haven't really eaten any breakfast. Side a banana earlier. What'd you eat, Jay? A muffin. A muffin? I guess I had a muffin too, but muffins are not nearly as good as some fresh, wild picked blackberries. Mm. Go for it. Thank you. Does it taste like a stink bug? Mm -mm. Fresh tastes bug. good. Fresh bug. <laughs> you never know sometimes with these blackberries because oftentimes there will be little stink bugs and other little creatures that just kind of like to wander on them, you know, toot on them a little bit. <laughs> and, um, you know, when you're out here in the wild, there's nowhere to really rinse them off at, so you just gotta get lucky. Mmm. Those are scrumptious. Whoa. 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 Look at that view, guys. Whoa. You say whoa. Whoa, do you love that? That's He's in awe. Cool. Yeah, I think it was worth it, Jay. The half mile walk <laughs> was worth the view. These trees we hear kind of grow up in front of us, but there is the river and there's like a little side creek over here. We got some hay bales out there. Hey. You say hay bales. Hey, hay bales. <laughs> That's awesome. Man, what a view. Yeah, it's really pretty. I wish we were down, I wish we were like right there and we were floating right through there because that looks fishy as crap. Hey Cypress, do you think I could throw a rock from right here and hit the river? You're not sure? What do you think, Mom? Yeah. You think so? Yeah, you can go pretty far. Mom's away. I think it's still flying. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's safe to say that Cypress has had all the fun and excitement that he could handle for this trip. That dude is passed out. <laughs> we were not expecting that to happen no. in the backpack. No. Also, check, take a look at this right here, guys. We've got a massive trapdoor spider crossing right in front of us. Look at this dude. This dude is awesome. I mean, that is wicked. He's probably trying to find himself another hole or make a hole or going back to his house. I don't know what he's doing, but he's kind of intimidating. Yeah. Cypress would have loved to have seen that guy, but unfortunately, you out, buddy. he is just passed out. He can't hang. That's all right. Well, I guess we'll just throw him in the car seat and we're going to head back home. Yeah. 